Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create multi-level cascading dropdown in SharePoint Online using Power Apps. So the requirement we have is, this is my source list which I've created and there is three single line of text column I have created that is regions, country and state. So generally in two level of cascading dropdown, what we do is if I select the region, the corresponding countries uh, for that particular region should come up in my next column. So in this case, if I select Asia, so the country will be like India and Japan will be there. But uh, what I want, I want to create one more level. So if I select the region Asia and the corresponding country, there is India and Japan. And if I select India, then there should be a state Delhi and UP is there. And if I select Japan, then the state Tokyo will be there. So this is what our requirement is. And this is my source list and here is our actual list. This is the data list and I've also created a three column here that is regions, country and state and all of these column are single line of text. Uh, so I'll go in my power apps here and I'll customize my form here. It will take a while. Once the form is loaded, this is how it's look like. I'll just zoom in. You can see that it's some unnecessary column also. So I'll go in my edit field and I'll delete this. I'll remove this title and I'll remove this attachment because I only require these three column. And in the region, I'm going to just make this one as allowed value that means it will be a drop down once now and same goes with the country and the state one what i need to check is <clears throat> i need to uh, create a connection add a data source basically so the data source is this particular source list so i'll go in my view data source right now you can see there is data list only i'll type sharepoint and add connection connect directly i will take a while you can select your site so my site name is this and the list which i want to connect is our source list click on connect and you'll see here that source list here now in region uh, i'm gonna apply a distinct method here distinct method on my source list and apply it on the region field so that means uh, what this uh, distinct is doing it is applying uh, you know on the region column in my source list that means if there is any duplicates there it will only fetch the distinct value from there and if you want to test this out, just press Alt. You'll see that the Asia and Europe, only two region is showing up here. So the first step is done. Now I'll go in my country uh, section here and I'll just click on this depends on. And you can see that right now um, the data card value six result is already there. So what I have to just do is now matching field will be my source list and the field will be my region and I'll click on apply. You'll see in the filter section that the filter is applied already there. And if I want to test this out, there is nothing in the country because in the value i have not selected the country yet 
So once I select country here, you will see that the corresponding country is showing up here. We can test this out. Uh, let's just select Asia. You will see that the country corresponding to Asia, India and Japan are already there. And if I select Europe, the corresponding countries are there. All right. Uh, and if you just want to check this out in the filter, you'll see that this is what it's applied. So what basically this filter is doing, <clears throat> it's filtering out from the source list if the region value is equal to this data card value six, which is my this region value. So it is filtering out the data basis on this particular one. So once that is done, now the next step is if I select a particular country, a corresponding state should come up in this my state section. All right. But uh, before going ahead, if we have just uh, you know that seen that when I was selecting the Asia, there was a repetitive countries coming up here in this country section. There was India is coming two time, right? So how we can remove that one also? Uh, I'll apply a, a distinct method which we applied here. So how we're gonna apply distinct here is uh, before filter, I'm gonna put distinct distinct and the filter values and uh, it will be my country I guess all right this will be my country column and we'll see that whether it's work or not so let me just test this out. If I select Asia, only the India and Japan is there. So now it's working fine. So what I did is basically whatever the result of filter is there, I have just applied the distinct onto that particular this country column. And now in my state, I'm going to apply uh, my filter, which I did for country one. So let me just go in depends on the data card six value is already there. So basically data card six is our, okay. So let me just go there. And if you can see the matching field will be, source list, it will be country. And I'll click on apply. Okay, if I select Asia, select India, then, okay. Now let me just select the state here. Okay, so the data card six will not be there. It will be data card. Okay, so it will be data card seven. Now you can see that our data is there. So if I press Alt and if I select Asia and the country is India, and you can see that the corresponding country is Delhi and UP is there. If I select country Japan, you'll see that the corresponding Tokyo is there, which we have created here. So this all source list data is there and our multi-level cascading is ready. So I'll go in my file, click on save. And I will publish this to SharePoint. So once it is published, uh, we can have this in our list.
I'll go in my data list and I'll check that if my Power Apps form is ready or not. Now you can see that all things are there. If I select a region Asia, corresponding countries India and Japan is there. And if the India selected, corresponding state is there. If I select a different country, then it's changed. And if I change the value here, everything changed. And now the state column is left because there is no entry corresponding to these Europe countries, which you can see in my list, which you can see here. There is no state entries here. That's why it is blank here. So this is how you can create multi-level cascading drop-downs for your SharePoint form. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tag. Thank you so much.